Thinking about buying the Surface Pro 12 or the Asus ProArt PZ13 in 2025? In this video, I'll break down everything you need to know, performance, design, display, and more. Watch till the end before you buy, and you'll know which one is the real winner. I've also included links in the description for the latest prices and deals. And hey, don't forget to like the video, it really helps me out. The Surface Pro 12 and Asus ProArt PZ13 take different approaches to build and design. Microsoft sticks to its minimalist professional aesthetic with a thin, lightweight magnesium frame, though it drops features like the Alcantara finish and microSD slot and limits repairability with soldered internals. In contrast, the ProArt PZ13 feels more robust with a magnesium aluminum chassis, MIL STD 810H durability, and IP52 resistance, all wrapped in a distinctive moss green color. While both are sleek, the PZ13 leans rugged and practical. Port selection is minimal on both, but Asus includes USB 4 and an SD card slot, whereas the Surface Pro 12 settles for just two USB-C 3.2 ports. The displays on the Surface Pro 12 and Asus ProArt PZ13 highlight two very different approaches. The Surface Pro 12 features a 12.3-inch IPS panel with a 2880 by 1920 resolution and 90 Hz refresh rate, offering solid color accuracy and good brightness at 351 nits. It's a step down from its predecessor's OLED option, but remains sharp and comfortable for daily tasks. In contrast, the ProArt PZ13 sports a 13.3-inch OLED touchscreen at 2880 by 1800 resolution. Though it's limited to 60 Hz, its color accuracy is exceptional. Pantone validated with 100% DCI P3 support making it far more suited for creative work. The ProArt screen also produces deeper blacks and higher contrast, which gives it a visual edge. When it comes to cameras, the Surface Pro 12 is modest, featuring a 1080p front camera and 10 megapixel rear shooter. It's serviceable for video calls and document scanning, but lacks flair. The PZ13 pulls ahead with a sharp 1440p front camera that supports Windows Hello and adds studio effects, while its 4K-capable rear camera feels unusually competent for a Windows tablet. Keyboard and touchpad experience differ as well. Microsoft redesigned the type cover for the Surface Pro 12. It's compact and responsive with a smooth trackpad, but it's sold separately and lacks a pen garage. Meanwhile, Asus includes its keyboard and magnetic kickstand, delivering a comfortable typing experience with backlighting and a spacious touchpad, though it can't be tilted or used wirelessly. Battery life favors the PZ13 significantly, lasting nearly 18 hours in testing compared to the Surface Pro 12's 8 to 10 hours. Both are powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon X Plus processor, but the ProArt PZ13 has a slight edge thanks to better optimization for creative workloads. In real-world use, general productivity like web browsing, office apps, and multitasking feels similar across both devices. However, the PZ13 pulls ahead when running native ARM versions of creative apps, such as Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop, delivering smoother performance with fewer slowdowns under moderate editing workloads. The Surface Pro 12, while capable for light editing and design tasks, can feel slightly sluggish when handling large files or applying real-time effects. As for gaming, neither device is built for it, but both handle casual titles and cloud gaming well. That said, the ProArt's stunning OLED display adds more visual richness even in lightweight games, whereas the Surface's IPS panel is serviceable but less immersive. Frame rates remain modest across both. If you're after better value, a stunning OLED screen, longer battery life, and built-in accessories, the Asus ProArt PZ13 is the clear winner in 2025. It simply offers more for the price. The Surface Pro 12 just doesn't keep up unless portability is your only priority.